ओम शांति थर्ड जुलाई 2020 को साकार मूर्ति इसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम अ कलंगी धर दैट इज वन हु वाज डिफेम्ड एंड बिकेम वर्दी ऑफ वर्शिप मेक योर स्टेज अनशेकेबल एंड इमूवेबल द मोर एक्यूजेशंस मेड अगेंस्ट यू द मोर यू बिकम अ कलंगी धर क्वेश्चन What is the father's order by following which main order do you children become seated on the heart of throne answer the father's order is sweet children you mustn't have any conflict with anyone remain peaceful if someone doesn't like something you say just remain silent do not harass one another you can become seated on bab dada's heart own when there are no evil spirits inside you when you don't speak bitter words and speaking softly becomes your way of life om shanti god speaks may you be soul conscious this definitely has to be said first this is a caution for you children the father says when i say child child i am looking at a soul the body is an old shoe that cannot become satu pradhan you will receive satu pradhan bodies in the golden age your souls are now becoming satu pradhan but your bodies are the same old bodies your souls now have to reform yourselves you have to become pure in the golden age you will receive pure bodies in order to purify your soul remember the one father the father also only looks at your souls your souls will not become pure by his just looking at you the more you remember the father the purer you will continue to become that is your duty you have to become satu pradhan by remembering the father the father has come to show you the way this body will remain old till the end these are just physical organs which have a connection with the soul when a soul has become beautiful he performs good actions there even birds and animals are very good here birds fly away when they see human beings whereas there such good birds will be flying around you in a disciplined manner it isn't that they would come into your home Thirty eight and then fly away again. No, that is a very disciplined world. As you progress further, you will have visions of everything. Now there is a lot of margin. The praise of heaven is limitless. The father's praise is limitless, and so even the praise of the father's property is also limitless. You children should be so intoxicated. the father says i remember the souls who do service they are automatically remembered a mind and intellect are in each soul you can understand whether you are doing first class service or second class service to understand all of this number wise some build museums and go to the president or governor etc they must definitely be explaining to them very well each one has his own virtues when someone has good virtues it is said that one is so virtuous those who are serviceable will always speak very softly they would never be able to speak bitter words those who speak bitterly have evil spirits in them body consciousness is number 1 then the other evil spirits follow that and enter people have very bad be the father says the poor things can't be blamed you have to make the same effort that you made in the previous cycle consider yourselves to be souls and remember the father and then the string that is control of the whole world will gradually come into your hands this is the drama cycle and it is telling you the time accurately there is very little time left when those people give independence to a country they split the country in two they then continue to fight among themselves 
otherwise who would buy their ammunition etc that is also their business according to the drama that is their cleverness they have split everything up into pieces here too one side says we should receive this piece of land because it has not been distributed properly there is more water flowing on that side there is a lot more land on that side and very little water on this side they fight among themselves in this way and then there is a civil war there is a lot of fighting when you become the father's children you also have to take insults baba has explained that each of you is now becoming a kalangidhar you are also insulted in the same way that baba is you know that those who are helpless people do not know that you are to become the masters of the world the matter of 84 births is very easy you are the ones who become worthy of worship and you are the ones who are then worshiped if someone's intellect is unable to imbibe anything that would be said to be his part in the drama what can one do no matter how much you beat your head he just cannot climb up he is inspired to make effort but it is not in his fortune the kingdom is being established and all are needed in that you should think in this way and remain silent there shouldn't be any conflict with anyone you have to explain with love do not do that your status will become even lower if you do it is the soul that listens sometimes when you tell someone a good thing he becomes peaceless in that case you should leave him alone if someone is like that he will continue to harass others that will continue till the end maya becomes more and more severe day by day maya also becomes a maharathi and fights with the maharathis when storms of maya come develop the practice of remembering the father and you will remain completely unshakable and immovable you understand that maya will harass you but you mustn't be afraid those who are to become kalangidhars will be insulted but you mustn't become upset because of that journalists can print anything against you because it is a matter of purity innocent ones will be assaulted there are the names of the devils akasur and bakasur there are even names of the female devils such as putna and supnaka first of all you children relate praise of the father the unlimited father says you are souls no one apart from the father can give you this knowledge the knowledge of the creator and creation is the study to which you become spinners of the discourse of self realization and rulers of the globe the ornaments also belong to you but you brahmins are effort makers this is why these ornaments have been given to vishnu no one else can tell you all the things about what a soul is and what the supreme soul is where did souls come from how does a soul leave a body sometimes they say that he departed through the eyes sometimes through the forehead and sometimes they say that he left through the skull no one can know this you now know that the soul will shed his body while just sitting in remembrance of the father you should go to the father in great happiness you have to shed your old bodies in happiness just like the example of the snake human beings don't even have the wisdom that animals have those sanyasis etc simply give those examples the father says you have to become like the buzzing moths who convert the insects you too have to convert them from human insects 
You mustn't just give examples, but do it in a practical way. You children now have to return home. You are receiving the inheritance from the father and so there should be that happiness inside you. Those people don't know about the inheritance. Everyone receives peace. Everyone goes to the land of peace. No one apart from the father can grant salvation to everyone. You also have to explain. You belong to the path of isolation and you make effort to merge into the Brahma element. The father creates the family path. This is a very deep thing. First of all, you have to teach others the lesson of Alpha and Beta. Tell them you have two fathers, a limited one and the unlimited one. You take birth to a limited father through eyes. So much sorrow is received. In the golden age, there is limitless happiness. There, birth is as smooth as their birth is as smooth as butter. There is no question of sorrow. The very name is heaven. You receive the inheritance of the unlimited sovereignty from the unlimited father. First, there is happiness, and then there is sorrow. It is wrong to say that there is sorrow first and then there is happiness. It is a new world that is established first. It is not an old world that is established. Would anyone build an old building? Ravan cannot exist in the new world. The father also explains you have to have all of these methods in your intellects. The unlimited father gives you unlimited happiness. How does he give that? Come and we will explain to you. You have to need, you need to have ways of explaining this. Also let them see all the types of sorrow in the land of sorrow. There is so much sorrow. It is limitless. The very name is the land of sorrow. No one can call this a land of happiness. Sri Krishna stays in the land of happiness. Even Shri Krishna's temple is called the land of happiness. He was the master of the land of happiness and he is worshipped in the temples even now. If this Baba were to go to the Lakshmi and Narayan temple now, he would say, Oh, I am going to become that. He would not worship them now. He is becoming number one. So he would not worship those who are second or third. I am becoming part of the Sun dynasty. People don't know this. They call everyone God. There is so much darkness. You explain so well. Takes time. It will take as much time as it did in the previous cycle. Nothing can be hurried. Your present birth is like a diamond. Even the birth of the deities cannot be said to be like a diamond. They are not in God's family. This is your godly family and that is your divine family. These are such new things. In the Gita, it is like a pinch of salt in a sack full of flour. People have made such a mistake by putting Shri Krishna's name. Tell them, you call the deities, deities. So why do you call Shri Krishna God? Who is Vishnu? You understand this. People continue to perform worship just like that, without knowledge. The deities are the most ancient and they, are, they were previously in heaven. Everyone has to go through the stages of Satu, Raju and Tamu. At this time, all are Tamu Pradhan. Many points are explained to you children. You can explain very well using the badge. You have to remember the father and the teacher who is teaching you. However, there is such a tug of war with Maya. Many very good points continue to emerge. If you don't listen to anything, how would you be able to relate those points? Generally, when the Maharathis are on tour, they miss the Murlis. They don't read them then. They are full. Father says, I tell you, search deep things. You have to listen to them and imbibe them. If you don't imbibe anything, you remain weak. 
Many children churn the ocean of knowledge and relate very good points. Baba sees that they extract points according to their stage. The serviceable children are able to extract some points which this one has never related. They remain engaged in doing service. Many good points are also printed in the magazine. So, you children are becoming the masters of the world. The father makes you so elevated. It says in the song, you will have the string control of the whole world in your heads. No one can snatch it away from you. Lakshmi and Narayan were the masters of the world. It would definitely have been the father who taught them. You can explain how they attained the royal status. The temple priests do not know this. You should have a lot of happiness. You can also explain that God is not omnipresent. Tell them, at this time, the five evil spirits are omnipresent. These vices are in each and every one. There are five evil spirits of Maya. Maya is omnipresent. You say that God is omnipresent. That is a mistake. How can God be omnipresent? He gives you the unlimited inheritance. He changes thorns into flowers. You children have to practice explaining to others. Chha, to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children too say Namaste to the spiritual father. Lessons for Dharna Number 1 when someone spreads peacelessness or troubles you, you have to remain silent. If some do not reform themselves even after being cautioned about something, you can only say that that is their fortune because a kingdom is being established. Second, churn the ocean of knowledge and serve by extracting new points. Never miss the deep things that the father relates to you every day. Blessing. May you easily adopt purity as your original and eternal spiritual virtue. May you, may you easily adopt purity as your original and eternal spiritual virtue and become a worthy of worship soul. Explanation The special basis for becoming worthy of worship is purity. The more you adopt all types of purity, the more you will accordingly become worthy of worship in every way. Those who originally and eternally adopt purity as a special virtue with discipline are also the ones who will be worshipped with discipline. Those who are in contact with souls who are jnani and ajnani, that is without knowledge, who fulfill their relationships and connections properly while keeping their pure attitude vision and vibrations and whose purity is not broken even in their dreams are the ones who will be worshipped with discipline. Slogan By living in the gross world, serve as an awake angel and the task of world benefit will be accomplished at a fast speed. Om Shanti